Chapter 40. One life for one life. Boom. Only a roar could be heard as Kang Chon's pair of fists ruthlessly slammed into Lin Wei's chest. As if they were to large mountains, the terrifying force instantly sending him flying. In the air where Lin Wei was knocked away, he could still vaguely see him spewing blood from his mouth, his face pale. Boom, boom, boom. Kang Chon's attack this time was very powerful, and Lin Wei smashed a house, wigwam, and other buildings as he flew backwards, which caused his injuries to become even more grievous, and his face to grow paler and paler. Boom. Finally, after smashing a fake mountain, Lin Wei's backwards flying posture was stopped. But before he could breathe a sigh of relief, a large foot stomped hard on his chest. The eighth level of foundation establishment is nothing more than that. What a waste. Kang Chon stepped on Lin Wei's chest, the corner of his mouth curling up slightly as he said with disdain. Puff, Lin Wei, who was already seriously injured, was even more injured after being stepped on by Kang Chon's foot. And now that he heard such sarcastic words from Kang Chon, he immediately spewed out a mouthful of blood and hardened. Surprisingly defeated, how could he? He be so strong. Hurry up and inform the family head. This son can only be dealt with by the family head. One by one, the originally fleeing sons of the Lin family had thought that they could easily subdue Kang Chon after Lin Wei's strike. But to their dumbfounded surprise, Kang Tian had defeated Lin Wei. And so these sons of the Lin family were once again sent fleeing in all directions in fear. Tell your family head for me. If my grandpa is half-hearted, let him prepare a good coffin for his son. Kang Tian shouted at those fleeing Lin family disciples. He was just in case, after all. He didn't know if it was still too late to rush over and inform his grandfather now. It was just that those Lin family children fled so fast that he didn't know if they had heard his shouts. Kang Chon coldly swept his eyes over the fainting Lin Wei and nodded at several acupoints on his body. Kid, the old man is now passing on a heart-piercing finger to you. You might need it later. At this moment, Emperor Dan's voice suddenly entered Kang Chon's ears and with it came a phrase. Kang Chong grabbed the dead pig like Lin Wei, and with both feet pointing to the ground, he ran towards Heavy Iron City. In his mind, he was secretly rehearsing the heart-piercing finger that Emperor Dan had imparted to him just now. This heart-piercing finger was very powerful. As long as he was hit by this move, without a Jiden stage expert to help protect his heart veins, he would definitely die. Elder Dan, I understand what you mean. Learning about the effects of the heart-piercing finger, Kang Chon's eyes lit up, finally understanding why Emperor Dan had suddenly passed on this mastery to him. Outside Heavy Iron City, Wong Tixiong's group of 32 people raced towards a mountain range in the distance. Apart from himself, who was the patriarch, the other 31 people were all elders of the Wong family each with a minimum strength of the seventh level of foundation establishment, which could be said to have brought together the peak strength of the entire Wong family. Third Elder, has the place you mentioned arrived yet? After running for a long time, Wong Tixiong asked in a deep voice. At this time, they were already quite a distance away from Heavy Iron City. It's right in front, Patriarch just rest assured, so many Elders are there, could I still lie to you? The third elder said, without looking back as he ran along. If someone saw his eyes at this time, they would definitely notice the grim smile in his eyes. The elders didn't make a sound when they heard this. They also didn't believe that the third elder would dare to deceive all of them. Although Wong Tixiong was doubtful in his heart, he considered himself to be strong, and felt that even if the third elder played any tricks, he couldn't do anything about it. As the patriarch of the Wong family, and a top-ranked expert in Heavy Iron City, he still had this confidence. By the side of the third elder, the deep-faced Wong Chon followed the large troop as he ran along, a trace of fierce killing intent flashing in his eyes. About three hours later, the crowd arrived in front of a cave. The sides of the cave were full of weeds, and the eerie black hole looked morose and terrifying 
as if there was some kind of ferocious beast inside. The crowd stopped in their tracks unanimously. Is this the place? Wong Tixiong was full of caution as he probed the surroundings until he realized that there was no one around to ambush him. Then he looked towards the Yiri cave entrance and asked. At the same time, those Wong clan elders also looked towards the cave entrance. They had heard earlier that the medium, Great Spirit Stone Vein was inside. So naturally they were attracted to it. Do it. The third elder had been secretly observing the crowd. And when he realized this situation, he immediately shouted. With the third elder's loud shout, the eight people from the third elder's lineage suddenly made a move on their companions who were on the sidelines. And all of a sudden, everyone was enveloped in a storm of true chi. Third elder Yuta miserable cry rang out. The third elder suddenly sneak attacked towards one of the elders beside him. And in haste, before that elder had the chance to cry out, his head was blown to pieces by the third elder's fist and he died horizontally on the spot. Immediately after, a cry of misery and shocked anger came out from the crowd. Wong Tixiong, who was the patriarch of the Wong clan, had also suffered an attack, and the one who struck out at him was Wong Chon, who was also at the ninth level of foundation establishment. Old Piker, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Taking advantage of the fact that Wong Tixiong's gaze was attracted by that cave, Wong Chon finally revealed his hideous face. His whole body's true chi bulged out, and he blasted his fist towards Wong Tixiong's solar. Plexus, obviously preparing to kill him with a single blow. The scene was in a state of chaos. The many Wong family elders were dumbfounded by the sudden infighting. They looked after their own defense. Where could they help others? Wong Chon seemed to have seen the scene of Wong Tixiong dying horizontally on the spot. A morose smile appeared in his cold eyes. Seven injury fist. Suddenly, an icy cold voice rang in Wong Chon's ears. His smile instantly solidified, followed by a terrifying force that shook him out. Old Pike you. Wong Chon spewed out a mouthful of blood in midair, stopping his backward flying form, and looked at Wong Tixiong who was coldly watching him in front of him with a face full of shock. Just a moment ago, Wong Tixiong seemed to have anticipated Wong Chon's sudden attack, as he reversed his body with a vicious seven injury fist, directly and heavily hitting Wong Chon. Don't stop yet. After Wong Tixiong forced back with a punch, he shouted towards the chaotic crowd of Wong clan elders followed by him instantly striking out and heavily hitting several sneak attacking third elders, lineage people. By this intervention of Wong Tixiong, the chaotic Wong family elders in the field retreated, instantly splitting into two factions. One of the parties stood behind Wong Tixiong, all of them glaring at the opposite side of the third elders lineage with a face full of anger. Just in that instant just now, the Wong family had lost five elders, and all of them were also from Wong Tixiong's lineage. At this moment, there were only 16 people left standing behind Wong Tixiong, and three of them were seriously injured and lost their fighting strength. On the opposite side, behind the third elder, and Wong Chon stood eight elders, and among them, apart from Wong Chon, who was lightly injured, there were three others who had been seriously injured by the angry Wong Tixiong and lost their fighting strength. Old third, is this the result you wanted? Wong Tixiong looked at the gloomy faced third elder across from him with an icy voice, squeezing out from between his teeth. One could imagine how angry he was right now. Although after Kang Chon's reminder, he had long been wary of the third elder and Wong Chon. He hadn't expected the other party to be so crazy that they wouldn't even spare those elders of the Wong clan. If you want to blame them, blame them for supporting you, an old piker, otherwise, you wouldn't have ended up in today's situation. The third elder said with a gloomy face. Wong Chon on the side also recovered at this time and said coldly, You've been sitting on this seat of the clan head for so long. It's time for me, Wong Chon, to take the seat instead. Just by you. When Wong Tixiong heard this, killing intent erupted in his eyes, as he coldly laughed, are you worthy? 
As his words fell, an aura at the peak of the ninth level of Foundation Establishment violently erupted, and the terrifying aura caused the third elder and the others on the opposite side to retreat. Wong Chion's eyes shrunk. Although he was also at the ninth level of Foundation Establishment, he felt that he didn't have the slightest power to fight back when. Facing a strong person at the peak of the ninth level of foundation establishment, like Wong Tixiong. Wong Tixiong's eyes were filled with murderous aura. He had already decided to kill the third elder and Wong Chong. What the other party had done had completely exceeded his bottom line of patience. Facing the Wong Tixiong, whose aura had exploded, several people on the third elder's side were all like enemies. Being the same as the Wong clan's elders, they naturally knew Wong Tixiong's dreadfulness. Today is your time to die. Wong Tixiong said coldly, as he walked step by step, the aura that erupted from his body grew stronger and stronger. Apart from Wong Chon, everyone else felt a wave of despair. Those elders behind Wong Tixiong watched this with cold eyes. They felt that the third elder's lineage was too idiotic to even think of seizing the patriarch's position they were really looking for death. The third elder and Wong Chon had come faces, but there was not the slightest fear in their eyes. Brother Wong, I'm afraid I can't do what you want today. Just as Wong Tixiong was about to make his move, a domineering and unquestionable voice came out. Hearing this voice, both Wong Chon and the third elder revealed a morose smile. Wong Tixiong's heart was startled, his eyes snapped to the cave behind him and from within that dark cave entrance, he sensed a very terrifying pressure coming out. Almost when he turned back, a proud figure stepped out from the cave, with his hands behind his back, coldly looking at Wong Tixiong. You, you broke through the junction, Dan. Wong Tixiong's eyes shrunk, his face full of unbelief. In the middle of the cave, a tall figure slowly walked out. He had thick eyebrows, his eyes flashed with an intimidating light. Although he did not deliberately emit an aura, but it made everyone present feel a terrifying sense of oppression. The crowd of Wong Clan elders was shocked. This was a Jidan stage powerhouse. But when everyone took a good look at the person's face, they were once again shocked because this person was someone they all recognized, or even said they were very familiar with. Lin Baishan. I didn't expect you to have broken through the Jidan stage, no wonder these two guys have the guts to betray me. Wong Tixiong looked at this person who suddenly appeared. A trace of bitterness appeared on his face. The person who stepped out from the cave was none other than Lin Baishan, the head of the Lin family. Except that nowadays, Lin Baishan had already broken through to the peak of the ninth level of foundation establishment, and his entire body exuded a huge pressure that only a strong person of the Jidan stage could have. The gazes of the crowd couldn't help but converge on Lin Baishan. All of them couldn't help but gulp, their faces full of shock and envy. Jidan stage oh, this was the lifelong pursuit of all of them. Wong Tixiong looked at Lin Baishan with a face full of bitterness. His emotions were very complicated. He and Lin Baishan were competing with each other when they were young and until they became the heads of the two families later on, the fight between the two of them didn't end. But now that Lin Baishan appeared in front of him, near Jidan's stage powerhouse, the hard feelings in his heart could be imagined. This was a very heavy blow for him. Brother Wong, Mr. Lin has already set up a banquet at home, so please come. Lin Baishan lightly smiled. Although he spoke politely, his tone was filled with an unquestionable flavor his purpose was undoubtedly evident. The faces of the crowd of Wong Clan elders changed. When they heard this, they snapped out of their shock and glared at Lin Baishan. Obviously, by this time, even if they were idiots, they knew who was behind all of this today. On the contrary, the third elder, Wong Chon, and the others all revealed excited smiles. Wong Tixiong gazed at Lin Baishan on the opposite side and said in a deep voice, Brother Lin should indeed be congratulated on his promotion to the Jidan stage, but today, Mr. Wong still has important things to do. So I'm afraid I won't be able to go. So I hope you'll bear with me. After all, 
He was the head of the family, and immediately calmed down, while pondering an escape plan in his mind.